Hey everybody. About two months ago, I moved from my home where I lived for 25 years and had my garden for eight years and my YouTube channel. And now I'm living in an apartment building where there's a community garden space and I managed to bring about 50 plants from the late bloomer garden over to this location. One of them is a pepper plant. I only brought one pepper. And if you've watched my channel, you know I love growing peppers. I love hot peppers. Not like some people, but I do love hot peppers. I love growing them. I only have the one Pekin pepper, the seeds of which I got from Arizona during one of my many garden trips over to Phoenix. That pepper is not doing well and I want to try to save it. So I reached out to my friend Scott Head down at Black Gumbo Channel, YouTube channel, and Scott loves growing peppers, and I thought he might have some advice how to rejuvenate this plant. Take a look. Hey there, Kay. Nice to hear from you, and I'm so glad you sent me some pictures to look at. Man, I love peppers. And um, I've also got some peppers that have made it through multiple years and they require a little bit of pruning and trimming and refreshing. So, okay, this is my pepper plant from last year. And you can see that I had to come in here and prune off some damaged growth here. I had to prune off some there. And uh, all over this plant, it really looked bad. It was really, really pathetic looking. And you can see it still needs some nutrition. You can tell in these leaves that it's lacking uh, probably some magnesium and some, some uh, nitrogen. So I'll put some Epsom salt and some fish emulsion in here and that ought to green this up. But you can see you can revitalize and refresh an old, an older pepper plant. I'm already getting some fruit, lots and lots of fruit actually. So it's possible. Uh, you mentioned that uh, you, you think that you might have leaf curl because of transplant shock or stress from pruning. And um, you thought it might have been a pre-existing condition from what I understand, but, but after thinking again, maybe not. Um, if it's a disease, a pepper disease, that's really hard to deal with. But if you've got transplant shock or pruning shock, um, I've got some tips for you. I've got three, three tips, not two. Uh, first, I'd pull it out of the pot and I would inspect the roots. If that's a three-year-old pepper, um, those roots might be a little bit bound up and you might want to give, give a go at loosening them up and, and uh, putting it in a slightly larger container with maybe an inch or two of space around with some fresh soil. And, and let those roots kind of kind of fill in. Once up potted, the second, the second tip I would give for that leaf curl, I would give it some azomite, that way it can get a lot of good mineralization. Uh, I would also give it some fish emulsion and some bone meal. And these will provide a real quick burst of, of um, nitrogen. And uh, it'd it just be a really good, uh, a really good addition to uh, inject some life into a plant. Whenever I have a plant that looks like it's stressed, or it's, um, it's, it's fatigued and about to give out. Um, yeah, fish emulsion tends to be the one that gives it that boost. And then the third tip, I would just wait and watch. Um, a three-year-old pepper, that's an old pepper plant. And um, you know, if, if it's gonna revive, it's just gonna take a little bit of time. Um, it's gonna need to recover from the stress of repotting and from the stress of being pruned up. So the third tip is usually just wait it out. Oftentimes pepper plants will look really, really stressed, but once they get that fish emulsion, once they get some nitrogen, uh, once they have a little bit of room to spread their roots around, uh, they very frequently actually uh, do um, perk up for you and uncurl those leaves and you'll have those beautiful peppers. Uh, what a joy to talk with you about your pepper plant. Thank you, Kay. And uh, y'all have fun over there in California. It's getting hot over here, so I'm gonna go back inside. Okay, we have Scott's advice. I'm going to put the supplements together and take them down. We'll inspect the roots, pot the plant up, and see what happens. Now, here we have azomite. And this is bone meal. I'm almost out of bone meal. Throw in a couple of spoons of that. And Scott also mentioned Epsom salt, so I'm going to put a couple of spoonfuls of that in there. And one thing Scott didn't mention was calcium. And I think it's been a long time since that plant got any calcium, and I'm going to put in a little calcium as well. 
This is garden lime. And there are our supplements. We'll mix this into our potting soil. And the fish emulsion I'll water in. Okay, I just found two snails on this plant. So that may be making a difference. As you can see, the roots are happy and going to the bottom for moisture. It's a good indication that maybe I didn't water enough from the top. You know, all these roots look really pretty good, but I'm wondering what this is. These are hard, gnarly roots, and I'm wondering if that belongs to the pepper or something else. It does. That's the pepper right there. So I'm gonna keep these together. Some of this dirt doesn't look, looks kind of compacted. I'm gonna kind of start over. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna let it sit in fish emulsion while I'm preparing the pot. As it turns out, I don't have a slightly larger pot. I don't have all of my stuff that I had at my house. I'm gonna put some fresh potting soil in here. I mixed in some worm castings in with the mixture of amendments. And we're going to put this back into this pot for a short time until I can get a larger pot. Position it a little bit lower. Pack it back in. And we're going to water this in. This is the fish fertilizer that it was sitting in. I'm going to water this in really well. As well as get a little drink on the top. I'm also going to trim off a few of these dead pieces. I see life coming from here. And just clean it up a little bit. Okay, I've taken off some dead pieces and I'm also, I've also decided since we have life coming from up here and I'm gonna take off that whole piece and that way the plant has a little bit more energy. I did a lot more pruning and this is the only tall piece I left because there's a nice split at the top. Okay, okay you just witnessed a few of the challenges that I have here. 
I don't have all my stuff at hand. I don't have a good working space. Uh, just when you think you've got a little shade to work with, the sun is moving so fast and you don't. But we'll check back and I'll be sure and report how Scott's measures did and show you the results in a couple of weeks. If you have somehow missed Black Gumbo, Scott Head's YouTube channel, be sure and check it out. Scott has a real way with communicating, especially to the new gardener who is really eager to learn a lot of stuff. Uh, he's very knowledgeable and he makes it easy to understand and I highly recommend his channel. Thanks so much for watching this one and liking my videos and especially sharing them with your friends. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. You'll realize that, you won't realize unless you watch my channel, and developed my, did I use the word developed twice? <laughs> Cat bowl. If you enjoyed this video, please watch these. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I'll see you in the next video.